one point he takes off all of his stuff and he's putting on his camouflage bits and i'm just looking at him in awe okay i love females but i looked at his body and i was like arnie i'm in love with you right now if you are a movie buff you go and check this movie out too hi this is calvin from we talk film now i'm doing a little segment here and it's gonna be for the next few weeks but i thought i would let you know what my favorite action movie of each of the last five decades are so the 1980s, the 90s, 2000s, the 210s, and so far in the 20s. So I'm going to give you one each week. And I'm going to start off with what I believe is the best ever for music, movies, literally, fashion, everything, 1980s. Now, my favourite action movie of the 1980s stars the action man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now... Obviously, he's been in a lot. Terminator, um, Total Recall was Total Recall in the 80s. I think that might have been a 90s one. But as we know, he's been in everything. He's got Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer. I love Conan the Destroyer, by the way. But my personal favourite of the 19 1980s, my personal favourite action movie is Commando. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Commando. It's one man... His name is Matrix, John Matrix, that's it. His name is John Matrix. One man against the world. You might as well say it's one man against the world. I swear Arnie kills a million people. And he just gets a little cut on him. That's it. But he kills everyone. This is the original movie where he is getting shot at every single angle with machine guns bombs everything nothing hits him nothing hits arnie he is the best but yet he just turns around quickly shoots and everyone's just dead it is tremendous i love it it's a fun time it's great so basically he's an ex-military man his daughter gets um kidnapped and he basically goes to find his daughter but he just kills everybody on the way the action is absolutely tremendous, guys. It's wicked. Arnie is that is huge. He's just he's massive, absolutely massive. At one part, one point, he takes off all of his stuff and he's putting on his camouflage bits, and I'm just looking at him in awe. Okay, I love females, but I looked at his body and I was like, Arnie, I'm in love with you right now. Okay, he is absolutely a monster. And there's loads of people in the movie. Everyone pulls their weight. It is a ridiculous movie absolutely ridiculous but when it comes to action it is amazing i love it it's a basic story basic premise and you've got in there just what you want one big muscly guy going after the world killing everyone and getting his daughter back it's amazing and it was my favorite movie of the 1980s so guys i want you to go and check it out Again, don't go in there with your expectations too high. Just go and have a good time. Go and watch Arnie, Commando. Let me know what you thought about it. Welcome to We Talk Film. Now, for my favourite action movie of the 1990s, there was so many to choose from. So many. But I had to go with the one iconic one, which I absolutely love. Everyone loved. I remember going to the cinema to see this with literally all of my boys. All of us went. It was mad. It was Streatham Cinema. Back in the day, there was Streatham Cinema was the cinema to go to. And it was back in the days, all of us were there, it was Ram Jam to see the movie, The Matrix. That is my favourite movie or my favourite action movie of the 1990s. It was wicked, it was outstanding. Keanu Reeves, Neo, you got Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus. And this was when I fell in love with Carrie Ann Moss, Trinity. 
She was fit in that leather. Well done to you, girl. But listen, the movie was groundbreaking. The effects, the action, the fighting, everything. It was absolutely amazing. Watching it now, it, was, it still holds up to today. Now, yes, there has been some sequels. Not really going to talk too much on the sequels because they do not compare to the original Matrix movie. Listen, guys, it was tremendous. I'm sure everybody watching this has seen it. But if you haven't, do yourself a bloody favour and go and watch The Matrix. Go and check out Trinity in her leather. Round of applause again. But listen, my favourite action movie of the 1990s was The Matrix. What's yours? Let me know down in the comments. Welcome. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. My name's Calvin and welcome to We Talk Film. Now, my favourite action movie of the 2000s has got to be 300. That's right, 300. Frank Shelley, is it Frank Shelley? I can't even remember his name, but the guy that wrote the actual comic book that this was based on, 300, the Spartans. We are Sparta. Excellent movie. I absolutely loved, absolutely loved it. Now, I love the style of it, the comic book style of it, obviously. It's a fictionalised tale of something that actually happened starring Gerald Butler. Now, first thing first, a little bit of trivia that I bet you guys didn't know. Now, as you can see in the movie, all of them, they're all ripped. You know, they're all cut. Their physique is amazing. Did you know that those physiques were modelled on myself? That's right. Now, bear in mind I was a bit younger then, you know, a bit more fitter. But yeah, basically they saw me down at the beach and they were like, that's how they have to look. 300 was born. Now listen, it is an absolutely great movie. Very violent, very gory, but the way in which it was shot, it, it, it doesn't throw you off at all. It's absolutely amazing. The story itself, telling about the 300 that went to fight the Persians, it was amazing. The storytelling, Jerry Butler was amazing. And that, this is the movie that made me a fan of his and everything. Listen, guys, if you haven't seen this movie, you have to go and watch it. It's one you have to. Now, they did do a sequel, and the sequel wasn't as good. To be honest, I don't even worry about the sequel. But stick to the original. 300. Guys, go and check it out. And that is my favourite action movie of the 2000s. Hey guys, it's Calvin again, We Talk Film, and what is my favourite action movie of the 2010s? Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit for this one, because I'm going to mention two movies, but one's the original, one's the sequel. And although I do slightly prefer the story overall of the original, the action scenes just pip it a bit more for me in the actual sequel itself. So, the movies that I'm going to be talking to you about today are The Raid, or The Raid Redemption, as it's called in some territories, 
and the Raid 2 or the Raid Berenthal. Now listen, this first of all, are you a martial arts fan? If you are and you haven't seen this movie, I don't know what to say. Can't help you. Jesus can't help you. God can't help you. This is a movie, if you are a martial arts fan, you have to, have to watch both of these movies. Listen, if you are just an action fan, plain and straight, you've got to watch this movie. Let me tell you something. When I first saw the trailer, guys, go and check out the trailer for the first raid, the raid redemption. When I saw that, I stood out of my seat and I was silent. I didn't know what I had just watched. There is a bit where they're fighting and the, the, the hero guy takes this guy's head and he smashes it on each tile of the wall. I was like, I've got to watch this. Then the fights, oh my God, guys, it was absolutely amazing. And then the second, the second sequel, the end fight where they're fighting in the kitchen and you see the little shuffle of the legs. Listen, for the second one, me and all of my boys, we all went to the cinema to watch this movie and it was an amazing experience. Every time I watch it, I get goosebumps. The choreography is amazing. The fighting is amazing. The violence is amazing. The story, nice and basic, which is what you want. Guys, please go and check it out. Check the trailer out first for both movies and go and watch them and let me know what you think. Okay, any movies I've missed out? What's your favorite one for the 2010s? Let me know. Chat to you soon. Welcome back guys, it's Calvin here as always. Now, my favourite movie, my favourite action movie I should say, thus far in the 2020s is none other than John Wick Chapter 4. Now, come on, was I going to choose anything else? If you haven't seen it, go and see it. It's amazing, Keanu. Listen, what I love about Keanu is this. Keanu can't act. He's not a good actor. He's very, very one note. You know what you're getting from Keanu. Simple as that. He's not going to win no Oscars for his acting. However, these John Wick movies just suit him to a key. He doesn't even speak that much. And this fourth one, me personally, I think it's a toss up between this one and the first one of my two favorite ones. Probably this one just pips it simply because Donnie Yen is in it. And I'm a massive Donnie Yen fan. Okay, now you've got to go and watch this one. There's a bit in the movie where we're watching it. And he's got to fight his way up to a step, up to some steps. And he gets pretty much all the way to the top. Then he gets knocked all the way back down to the bottom. And it's hilarious. And I remember sitting down watching and I was like, ah, oh, shit. He's dead. But then obviously he gets some help and he fights his way back up. Listen, the action is great. You've got what's known as Gung Fu or, or Gun Fu, I should say. Loads of martial arts, loads of gunfights, car chases, Keanu Reeves, his character John Wick. I don't know how he's not dead a million times over, but he's still living. Oh, or is he? I'm not going to say anything, that's for the spoilers. But listen, John Wick Chapter 4 is my favourite action movie of the 2020s thus far. Have I missed out on anything? Is there something that you think is better? Guys, please let me know. You ready, John? Yeah.